Hey, Sue Price here. I want to talk to you about having a money mindset or what is your mindset around money. Unless we were brought up with wealthy family or wealthy parents who had um, a really healthy outlook on money and belief system around money and money was never a problem, then chances are we've sort of got some distorted viewpoints or subconscious thoughts about money. I was brought up in a working class, middle class family and, you know, I heard some of the classic things like money doesn't grow on trees. Um, we haven't got a lot of money, but we are happy. Um, they go on and on. Money is the root of all evil. That's one of the most hideous ones. You can't be spiritual, spiritual and wealthy. Who said that? But you know, there's a whole bunch of beliefs that we heard lots and lots and lots in our childhood, most of us at least. And they're there. They're there in our, our mind. If we want to change that, if we want a really successful business, if we want to be wealthy, then we have to develop a really healthy attitude towards money. We have to have an attitude of havingness. Having money is okay. It is okay to have money. If we don't develop that, even if we make a lot of money, we will lose it again. I can vouch for that. I've been very wealthy and I've lost it all a couple of times over in my life. I've worked on my mindset and it's got healthier and healthier, but it's taken work. So I want to talk to you about a couple of different or a few different exercises I've seen over time. I worked um, for a long time, well I've done a lot of personal development myself, but I also worked with a lot of teachers, speakers, including Robert Kiyosaki, and a lot of people that have taught various exercises for people to get that shift in their mindset that they need to get in order to be able to make and keep money. Okay, so let me explain a couple of them. So um, one was, or one lot of exercises were things like um, just, you know, acting like you've got money. So going into, you know, beautiful um, hotel foyers and hanging there, having a cup of coffee in that lovely environment, going and trying on Armani, Chanel, um, Louis Vuitton, all the designer brand clothes, trying on really expensive necklaces, bracelets, watches if you're a bloke, you know, just, just that sort of thing. Um, Test driving luxury cars, a car that sort of feels a bit out of your reach. Going and, and test driving, sitting in a car like that. So that's really just things for us to, to feel okay with those things in our life. Another exercise that was done in one of the seminars that I was part of putting on um, and was taught by a guy called Dr. Ruse was carrying money on you. On your, on your body basically or in your purse or wallet or pocket or whatever. So there were, it had to be an amount that we wouldn't normally carry around and a thousand dollars was sort of a starting point. Now it's a really interesting exercise to do and listen to your mind chatter because most of us will have mind chatter. I mean, even the people that were attending the seminars we used to put on would be on the phone saying, but why do I need this money? And, and you know, the, the, the typical things that are going to come up for us are, um, I might lose it, so you don't trust yourself keeping money. I might get mugged, that was mine. Someone's going to snatch my handbag off me and run off with it. Hmm. I don't trust other people, maybe. I don't know. Work it out. Um, I don't trust myself not to spend it. That's huge for a lot of people. So they, they don't, they can't keep money. They're going to have to spend it. And, and this exercise was you couldn't spend it. You had to have it on you. I really encourage you to try that one. Also to some of the others. And if you say, oh, I don't like expensive cars and I don't like 
this or I don't like that, can I suggest to you that you may need to work on it? You don't have to go and buy them now, maybe you don't want to, but if you can't even try them on, then there's a problem there, there really is. So these are just ways that you can really stretch your uh, willingness to have money. I don't want to see other people go through the ups and downs with money that I have in my life, making enormous amounts of money and then somehow creating circumstances that um, it's all gone again. It's not a good way to live your life. Work out if you've got any subconscious things about money happening for you and get rid of them. Get rid of them. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.